Hey there, welcome back to another video by Garage Door Guidance. So that's the issue we are covering today. It is only traveling a couple of inches and reversing. Uh, before you move on with this, you do want to confirm that your garage door spring is not broken. So I've detached that and I can see my spring is fine. I can lift my door just fine. So what I'm also going to do now is it's detached. I'm going to hit the button again and see if that guy moves. It's doing the same thing. It's just going a couple of inches and reversing. Typically what this is, is an RPM sensor. It's a small logic board inside of the garage door opener itself. So I wanna show you guys how to change that on the newer garage door openers. I've done them on the uh, older ones. And so we're seeing this issue on the newer ones. So I wanna cover that now. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, if you have a backup battery inside your opener, you wanna disable that. Uh, just pull the cover down and there's a battery inside here normally. So what you wanna do is use a little Phillips head, open that up, take the battery out, and you can reconnect it later because we are going to be unplugging the opener to, to work on the inside here. So once your battery's unplugged, next step is to just unplug the entire unit to bring this cover down. And from here, you should have four usually four, sometimes three, but one, two, three, and four uh, Phillips or quarter inch little screws, which we'll take off. You could remove the light bulb if it's in your way. And so that's all loose now. So you should be able to just pop this cover out just like that. So this is the view of inside of the garage door opener. This guy right here, that is our RPM sensor. So you can see it's just got the one little Phillips screw, a couple little clips, but it'll pop right out. And on the bottom, that's where it plugs in right there. You can see that there. So at this point, all we gotta do is unplug it, unscrew it, and replace it. So let me go ahead and do that for you. You could probably just use a regular old screwdriver, but I like to use this long bit here with my impact. All I'm gonna do is reach in there. Unscrew it. I'll go ahead and unplug it as well. This may already start coming out, but so unplug it. And this little guy should just wiggle free. So just like that. First, get your new one. I'm just gonna put mine back because it's just fine. Again, so this may take uh, just some finagling. Once you have it in there, everything looks good. Put that little screw back in there. So screw it in, plug your connector back in. That part may be a little more difficult. It's kind of tight in here. especially with the gloves on. Everything looks good at this point. All I gotta do is put this all back on. Uh, at this point, you can put your battery back in. So once you have replaced the sensor, you do wanna go ahead and program the limit settings. To reprogram the limit settings, and that's telling where the opener is gonna stop at the top and at the bottom. All you do is press and hold this little black rectangle in the back. You'll hear it beep and the up arrow is flashing. Go ahead and bring it up to the desired position. I'm gonna say right about there. So to set it, you press the square or the little rectangle again. Now your down arrow should be flashing, at which point you need to press and hold that down flashing arrow to set the down position. To set the down, press that rectangle again. So on some units, it'll automatically come up and down now to set the force, but on the older models, you do still have to push the up arrow and that will perform its up cycle and it should stop where you set it. So I'll do that. 
And so once it goes up, stops where I set it, press the down, the down should be flashing now, so you should just be able to hit the down button. Just like that. Essentially the first step is you're setting where it's gonna stop, and the second step is you're setting uh, how hard it's pushing. So you're setting the force on the up and down the second time around. That's how you change an RPM sensor on a newer LiftMaster Craftsman or Chamberlain garage door opener. Hit that subscribe button if this did help you out. I do appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video.